Pepperdine hosting San Diego Wednesday night, looking to keep their perfect home record intact after splitting a two-game road trip in Northern California. Let's take a look at the highlights. First half action, Pepperdine started off the game on fire on offense, jumping out to an early double-digit point lead behind hot starts from Jet Reigns, Stacey Davis, and Lamont Murray Jr. San Diego would rally midway through the half to cut the lead down to nine but the Waves would keep the lead in double digits, entering halftime 38-23. to For the half, Pepperdine shot 50%, with Lamont Murray Jr. leading the team with 11 points and 6 rebounds. Stacey Davis would contribute 10 points and 8 rebounds, and Jet Reigns with 8 points heading into the break. Second half, Pepperdine would keep the fire blazing on offense, starting off with back-to-back -back three pointers from Jeremy Major and Murray before extending the lead to 20 points. The Waves and Toreros would trade baskets throughout the game, but the Waves put on a show on Throwdown Thursday with back-to-back -back dunks by Reigns and Cameron Edwards. Pepperdine would eventually drop the hammer down on San Diego to clinch the victory 76 to 58 for their eighth straight home victory for their best home start since the 1985 to 86 season. Murray led the Waves with a game high 21 points on 8 of 15 shooting and 8 boards. Stacey Davis added 18 points and 10 rebounds for his ninth double-double of the season, while Jet Reigns would chip in 12 points on 5 of 6 shooting. Overall, the Pepperdine offense shot 52% from the field, including 46 from downtown and 86% from the charity stripe, while limiting the Toreros to 38% shooting. Pepperdine will look to stay perfect at home as they take on BYU at Firestone Fieldhouse on Saturday. All right, Coach, congrats on the win tonight. What did you see from the guys out there? Well, I thought we were very unselfish. Um, we shared the ball. Um, guys, guys were in a rhythm. Okay, they took care of each other, and we talked about that being selfless. The one thing I didn't like are turnovers. Uh, we turned it over 17 times. They scored 27 points off of that. So we have to, we have to get that. And I thought part of that was just our mindset of of being casual and relentless, be, or, or relaxed because we we're up so much. And looking ahead to the weekend, BYU coming up. What kind of momentum do you guys need to build heading into that game? Well, we're, we're on a two-game uh, win streak. Um, as I just told our guys, we've got a better team coming in uh, on Saturday, a team that's going to be upset with us because we beat them twice last year. But last year has nothing to do with this year, so we have to do the same thing that we did last year and focus on those things. And, Coach, 8-0 so far this uh, season at home. The last time you guys were 8-0 at home was 1986 season. Is that something we can see this season? We hope so. But I tell you what, that 1986 season, I was a sophomore so I've been a part of both of them. Well, it's good, good to have you. All right, appreciate All right. it. Congrats, Coach.